If I go to Google and search for Blender's actual system requirements, then When I first saw the system requirements for Blender, my reaction was somewhat similar. In fact, looking at these system requirements, the condition of my PC seemed to worsen. But you don't need to worry because in today's video, I will provide you with a version of Blender that you can easily run on your 32-bit PC. Not only that, you can do everything from animation to 3D modeling with ease. And at the end of the video, I'll also give you a bonus tip that will be very helpful. So, let's start the video now. Let's roll. You will find the link to this zip file in the comment box. You can download it from there, and if we talk about its size, it's just 100 MB so it will be easy to download. Simply right-click on the zip file and extract it. After the extraction is complete, go to the folder and launch the application. It might hang a bit at the start, but then it will launch in just a few seconds. So. As you can see, Blender is running successfully, and it's running quite smoothly. One more thing, you can also import pre-made projects if you want. Simply go to the file option above and click on open. After that, import the file with the .blend extension. As soon as you import it, it will load, and you need to wait a bit during this process. As you can see, our project has been successfully imported. It might look a bit laggy right now because I am using a screen recorder. Here, you can import as many projects as you want and modify them, then re-upload them to website. Additionally, in the description, you will find a link to a website where you can download as many projects as you want. But remember, the files you download should support Blender 2.79. Please keep this in mind while downloading. So, friends, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to use Blender on your mobile, click on the video here, and I'll see you there. Goodbye.